What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chrissy Chaos. Um, I, I got I feel fat today because uh, I went out last night. I got a surprise birthday party thrown for me by the one and only Vinny. Um, we went out to a restaurant uh, called Grand Banks on a boat. Um, I'll uh, we could post a video here of, of our beautiful seats. Um, I had a view of the Hudson River to the right and a view of the wooden dock with garbage floating in it to the left. Um, the boat was also swaying, uh, almost where like my every time our heads were slamming back and forth off the bottom of the boat on our nice relaxing. Uh, four o'clock dinner where it was 98 degrees at the start time. We wound up eating. I, I wound up having three watermelon vodka drinks, uh, oysters, other types of fish foods, getting motion sickness and having to walk off the boat and sit at a table on the dry dock that uh, was right outside the Grand Banks restaurant on the Hudson Pier in New York. Um, Vin, Vinny paid extra money for the boat, which we got off in 15 minutes, and then she paid extra extra money for a chocolate cake that we never got because when she got up and went to the bathroom, I ordered two desserts. So by the time she had come back, I'd already eaten the desserts that she had paid for. So, but I had, I, but I, what I had was was like a sweet blueberry crumble, um, and it was good. Delilah, can you stop doing that, please? Just stop doing that one. Oh, chopping up the garlic. Oh, okay, so keep doing that. If we need to chop up the garlic. Oh, wow. Shout out Tupperware, um, who, got, who gave us a garlic slicer. Thank you, Tupperware. I appreciate it. It got, you know, it got your company, you know, millions and millions of views off my dumb word, my me mixing up Tupperware with Tupperware with Tupperware, and you sent me a freaking garlic slicer <laughs> like I'm Governor Andrew Cuomo. I called myself Governor Andrew Promo yesterday because I was doing so many promos for my added shows November 21st at the Wilbur Theater in Boston and the Baltimore, uh, the Lyric Baltimore that I'm co-headlining with Sal Vocano on October 1st. So those are the big new shows for me. November 21st, Wilbur Theater because Laugh Boston from November 18th to the 20th has been sold out. So we added Sunday, November 21st at the Wilbur Theater, ChristyComedy.com for tickets. And oh, also the first show at Foxwoods, October 23rd, that's all sold out. Only tickets available for the second show at the big theater in, in Foxwoods. So go get those tickets, ChristyComedy.com and Irvine Improv in Los Angeles area. We're coming. Me, Pimp, TT, Jerry might be coming. We're all coming. Um, and I got big ass news for New York coming. And you're going to want to buckle up when you hear it. Um, TT, Jerry was at my party last night, by the way. TT, Jerry was there. Um, it was a so. Oh, okay, so let me tell you. So, so we go. <laughs> sorry. So we go to the Grand Banks restaurant, and it was great. By the way, it was great. The food was great. We had our waitress was literally. If you're gonna speak, speak to the microphone. Get a microphone off camera. Get a mic. What do you have to say? Vin, here's Vinny. By the everybody. way, I'm just. By the really way, Vinny's glad. wearing a shirt that says "Wepa." That show's over. I'm just really glad how much like you that you appreciate. Your dinner, like, you're, you're really showing a lot of appreciation for that. Yeah, I'm very appreciative of it. I'm also appreciative. You're so of, grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm also appreciative of the fact at the end of the night when Vinny had prepaid for the rooftop bar, lounge, drinks. She told everyone to keep ordering drinks, everything. She's like, I got this for my baby's birthday. Her card got declined and I had to pay for my own birthday party. It flagged. It was flagged <laughs> by my bank yeah, and I okay. didn't realize it. I yeah, was so I drunk. I had to pay for my own birthday party. Didn't I send you the money after? Yeah, uh, I can't stand Delilah, you. Delilah, what do you have to say? Yeah. What, go ahead, what do you yeah, want to say? Want to you to you might, you know, by the way, hold on, Delilah. Before Delilah starts speaking, you might hear a slight lisp because she lost her tooth at Soul Joel's in Royersburg. She <laughs> lost her first tooth. What a memory. Her first tooth at a freaking sand pit with a guy named Soul Joel while her, while her dad was on stage talking to a girl who called herself the shit queen. <laughs> go ahead, baby. Well, thank you for being grateful. Thank you for being grateful. I am grateful, honey. You're not grateful for when my tooth came out. I am grateful for your tooth came out. I'm no. The one, I'm the one that called the tooth fairy and no. told her to come. No. What do you mean? Sal is the one that did it. Oh, yeah. Sal called the tooth fairy because Sal knows the tooth fairy better than me because Sal, we have the same agent, <laughs> though. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, it's it's been hard to get in touch with... Delilah, it's very hard to get in touch with the Tooth Fairy because the Tooth... Honey, let me explain to you why it's been difficult because these are, you know, very new times and all that, and the Tooth Fairy has changed genders. So 
which is fine. Everything's still the same, but the tooth fairy was going, was getting a little bit of surgery, you know, like T.T. Jerry. T.T. Jerry's the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? What did T.T. say? T.T. will be coming on the show momentarily. Um, right now, T.T. Right now, and Vinny are making tortellini, and they're using the garlic chopper. Um, oh, yeah, that's good. And my newborn daughter, Violet, is getting garlic wafts right to the face as she's swinging in the mamaru, not caring at all. Yeah, put her closer to the boiling hot water. Um, oh, yeah, boiling hot oil. That's great. That's great. great. On Staten Island. Yeah. Yeah, I know. D the other day, uh, well, before Delilah goes, Delilah goes, Dad, guess what? I had a baby. I was like, well, here we go. You're <laughs> the most Puerto Rican stereotype ever. <laughs> um, By the way, were you surprised last night? Uh, okay, let me explain to you. I legitimately, Vinny took me out to such a beautiful dinner at Grand Banks, and she was like, we're going to go have a drink after this. Then she told me I booked a hotel room for you. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I was like, I want to go home. I was like, I want to go home and watch Norm McDonald's comedy special. <laughs> you know, like, I was like, I was like a, a, a hotel room. I was like, we just had a kid. And she was like, no, I got us a hotel room. I want you to just relax. I love uh, it. She's yelling that you I'm got boring. a hotel room in the city and not in Royersford. Not in Roy <laughs> yeah, yeah. She paid yeah. She paid for a big hotel room in the city and not in Royersford, Pennsylvania. But but so so she goes to me, she says to me, she goes, We're we're gonna just have a drink. So I said, All right. So I'm like legitimately hammered. Don't forget, we started drinking at four o'clock. We ate, okay, we ate all this food. We had to walk. She literally picked a restaurant in the city that you cannot walk to anything else. We had to get a cab. The cab told the cab didn't come to a complete stop. It just slowed down to three miles an hour because we were standing on the side of the West Side Highway <laughs> in the city. So we jump into the cab, dripping sweat. I'm smacked. Just drunk. We get to the we get to the public hotel. She goes, "Have you ever been here before?" And I was like, "No." Um, <laughs> nothing. So, Fine? no, I've never been there before. I never been there before. I've, you asked if I had ever been there with any of my friends. I'll knock everything down right now. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, and then I guess you'll pay for it with your credit card. <laughs> So, so, um, so, um, I, I go, we go up, we go to get our, first of all, we get down to the, to, you know, at the lobby and we, you know, you have to go and you have to show your ID card, your license plus your vaccine card. So I only had a picture of my vaccine card. So I showed both of them, but like the guy barely looked. And then he says to, to Vinny, he goes, Oh, you're the woman of the hour. And I was like, what, what did he, yeah. What did he call you late of the hour? woman of the hour and I was like are you a prostitute like what I was like what's happening I was like are you legitimately working prostitute at the public hotel like just tell me because like whatever um so I still didn't understand then we go up to the roof deck because the party was on the roof deck at the public hotel in New York City and I see my good buddy Mike Cannon I see the back of his salt and pepper hair and he's lost a lot of weight so he just looked like a salt and pepper like you know middle aged dad fucking alien head he looked like a golf club with a with a with a shirt with a tie dye shirt on um, but I was like oh shit and in my head I say well Mike Cannon's here that's going to be so weird when I'm like dude I'm here too having drinks with Jasmine I thought it was and then. Uh, you know, there was a problem with the reservation. They were like, they were like telling, I don't know, asking all these questions. They had to bring a manager out. So I'm like, you know, manager comes out. So we were standing at the podium for a little while. And then I see Joe DeRosa. And I'm like, this is weird. Joe DeRosa and Mike Hatter hanging out. And then finally it clicked. Oh, they're here for my birthday. So then I turned to her. I was like, can you just tell me it's a surprise party? And she was like, how did you know? I was like, I could see Joe DeRosa. And she goes, Joe ruined it. I was like, yes, he did, that pig. Yeah, he was like Bigfoot on the rooftop. Yeah. So then I get in, and it was such a beautiful thing, and I thank, thank Vinny so much. Because the 37th birthday is a pretty meaningless birthday, but I never remember my birthdays, but I will remember this birthday because Homeless Pimp was there. T.T. Jerry was there. My good buddy Mike Cannon was there. Great comic Mike Cannon. Joe DeRosa, the pig. Sal Volcano was there. Um, my ma my new manager Emilio was there with a man bun doing yoga, dr ordering ordering martinis, 
and freaking making me drink. He tells me, hey, we got to, you got to like really like, you know, his whole thing is like he's sending me yoga videos and exercise videos every day now to like, you know, he's like, you got to get in shape. We got big things coming up. We got, we got big opportunities coming up. But then also was last night was feeding me burgers, macaroni and cheese, chicken dipped in freaking caramel sauce. I was like, do you want me to be fat or not? <laughs> Well, me and TT had a whole drama. I ended up going hours earlier to do street photography. Yes. And then randomly just saw TT on like, I don't even know, like Avenue A. It's amazing. And and uh, we go to a, a bar, but TT got thrown out of the bar because she, she forgot to bring her vaccine card. So wait, so so they threw her out of the bar. We had to go sit on the sidewalk. Really? Yeah. TT, well, come over here. Come, come sit over here. Come sit here. Hey, guys. Hey! Daddy threw me out the bus. He said, oh, but you're going to have to be outside. We walked outside in and they said, you have to go outside. Because you don't <laughs> have your vaccine card. And I said, okay, no problem. So I went outside. Bro, you know, why, the worst shit <laughs> what happens when, when we got to the club over there to, before well, going up to the rooftop. We were getting anxious because it was a nice spot. And yeah. if they threw us out of the little restaurant, you're not going to They weren't going to let you into the nice spot at the public hotel. So how did you get it past? So what? Hey, so t tell us. The, the so Jerry, they have magic. So what happened? Because the, no. the bouncer was was a very well dressed, very good looking black man. Oh yeah! Oh my god, Great he was guy. sexy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. he was sexy. Yes. Oh my god. He, he Excuse was, me. Right, Jess, right? What did Rennie, you say? Rennie's she said he was hot. She yeah. said it was hot. I. She said yeah, he was. She hot. said he was hot. Okay. Yeah. Just like you like you like black girls, right? I like black girls nice, and huh? black guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like a block away from the venue, I, I got the idea to just have TT photograph the bottom of oh, my vaccine yeah, card did. and cut off the name. So that's what you did. You The bottom of the vaccine card. So you showed him a picture of your vaccine card on your phone, but no name on it. No name on it. Wow. And he said, no, I can let you in because it's not showing your name, like on your ID. And he said, well, and I can let you in. And then Pimp was like, um... Boy, come on, he just came out of prison. He doesn't know anything. He just got Smart. this phone. He didn't know how to probably take the picture of the Vicene card and all this mess. And he said, no, <laughs> he still can't go up. So then I looked at Pimp. I backed up and I told Pimp, like, I was like, yo, go, 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 go. Leave me alone with him. <laughs> yeah. And so what happened? How'd they finally let you in? Did you get so, a Vicene card? I was worried. No. So before he said he was calling the manager or something, but the manager never came down. So I was just, you know, talking to him, rapping to him, you know, nice and sweet, you know, sweet talk. Of course. I talked him out of it, sweet talk out of it. I could tell you know, he was up my, to something. It's my sister, my niece up there with her family, you know. Yeah. And I just came out of prison, baby. You know how it is. <laughs> I told him just like that. I said, you know how to, I'm being straight up with you, you know. Yeah. I came out of prison not too long ago, you know. It's, yeah. This is all new to me. I was put away for a lot of years. You know, you got to understand, you know, you you from the hood. I can see you. You know, come on. You know how we pump. You know, I started talking to him like that and everything. He goes, you know why? For being real, being straight, go ahead. You could go in. Wow. And he just mocked me in my hand and let me through. Wow. And he just let you in after that yeah. whole story. So listen, what I want you guys to do is go to, you know, for now on, obviously, so everyone can stay safe on this podcast. I want you to go to patreon.com slash Christy Comedy and please take pictures of your Visine cards and put them on yes. the community board because we have to stay safe with the Visine card. Yes. You got to take a picture and have it on your phone. Take a picture and have it on your phone that's because we don't want you out there. If you're not visined, we don't want you no, out there. No, but that's fucked up because now everybody, everywhere you go, gym, restaurants, even the airport, if you ain't got a visine card and you in the airport, they're not going to let you get on the plane. They won't let you get on the plane unless you, you got that visine. It's crazy. It's crazy. No, you need it visine. is because there's a lot of people, they still don't want the visine. Yeah. I mean, they can't make you take no vices. They're not going to. They can't make you put something in your body you don't want to put in your body. Listen, I don't want to. If I want to get the vaccine, I'll get the vaccine. If I don't want to put the vaccine in my body, I'm not going to put the vaccine in my body. But do you think it's fair for them to make that kind of rule? No, I don't. Like I don't think it's fair. People don't want to put that in their body, so now yes. they're not allowed to travel? No. 
I don't think it's I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair, and that's why I don't use Visine anymore. I use Clear Eyes. <laughs> get out of here! You know Visine, Visine, you've been Visine. saying the Visine part. Visine's the same shit. They know what I'm talking about. I'm Puerto Rican. You said the Visine card uh, ten times. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> the Visine, and then, that, then when you got the when you got the vaccine, you the, called it the Modelo Visine. instead of the Moderna. Yeah, you they, know I they got the Modelo shot and the Visine. Believe me, they understand what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Do you love me? <laughs> yeah, so last no, night I had a great time. You had a great night, time. Chris. Honestly, yeah. when I saw you there, it was so happy to see you there. Yeah. Thank you so much oh, for coming. I had to. How yeah. could I miss that? I you love were, it. You're my favorite guy, man. I love what it, the, baby. The, I love it. And you, you had know? your hair and a ponytail. I love you. you had a beautiful. Oh, yeah. I love uh, you. Vin, can you throw me here? The, the gift, the, the red the bag over there. Can you throw me? I just want to show everybody. Yeah, just throw that. Come on, walk in with the wet pot shirt. No, By the way, with the shirt. Steve Cohen. Steve Cohen. Shout out. Shout out, Miss Al, uh, Alex. Uh, shout out. Shout out, Miss Alex Cohen. Wepa, you gave us the Wepa Met shirt. You gave Vinny the Wepa Met shirt. Um, I just want to. I just want to thank you. For, minute, this is what TT gave minute. me. That's what I was given <laughs> as the gift. Oh, yeah, the small spandex. So we got that. Well, and then why also, did you wear it? And then TT had. She you gave me these as well. The penis lollipops. The penis lollipops. So Delilah, go in your room. Why is she out here? Those, they're not lollip no, they're not lollipops. They're not lollipops. They're bad. They're bad. They're bad. They're Brussels sprout pops. They're Brussels sprout pops. No, I am gonna wear Why them. Why did you wear them last night? I was because to be honest with you, I would have put them on, but you got I me. I think that looks you so got me sexy. Let me see that. Go ahead, there that, you go. That looks so sexy. Oh, and it goes straight up your You got me a size large. <laughs> and what do you think? You're a size small? No, I'm a size XL, Papi. Here. That's yeah, well, here, let's enjoy my a, birthday that's a, that's gift together. Cute butt. Yeah. Look yeah. at that white butt. Yeah, that's, take, a, that's a cute butt. That's a right cute there. butt. He's very muscular. Uh, look at this. Here it is. Blue cocks matter. Yeah. <laughs> pink. Pink. Oh, yeah, you like a little. Yeah. Well, it's nice to it's pink. So, here. Um, but yeah, it was, we had a great time. Um, yeah. Dude, I, I, I got, okay, so let me tell you, I got so hammered. Like, Hammered, 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 drunk. Sal Volcano drove me, Vinny, and Titi home. I don't remember a second of it. I told everybody, I was telling everybody, I woke up this morning and it, all these people were like, hey, are we really going to the 18th Avenue feast with you? And I said, what are you talking about, the 18th Avenue feast? I woke up, Jazz, Vinny was like, you told everybody and their mother last night to invite them to the 18th Avenue feast. You invited the waitresses, the waitresses, the waiters. You invited everybody to the 18th Avenue feast. I don't remember a second of it. Not one second of it. I, my, my whole brain just shut off. For and I don't. The last thing I remember is eating a sirloin burger with me and TT and TT TT eating the burger and saying they never had they never had meat like this in prison. This shit is good. And then my <laughs> and then my brain just went out. But I was what the texts I was sending were so coherent, perfect grammatic, perfect. But I fully blacked out. That hasn't happened to me. I haven't blacked out like that. I, I can't tell you the last time. I could tell. There was a point where I just looked over and you were like. Look like a mummy. You were yeah, just locked yeah. out. You were At laid up. Point, he was already like, <laughs> that was great. No more. Well, because we were doing because another I, shot. No. Well, because I had no. five vodka watermelons, mm. shots. We were drinking mezcal on the rocks, dirty martinis. We were getting crazy. Yeah, I, I, I but had, you had a good I time, right, good, babe? Oh my God, my first time ever. I ever went up to a rooftop. You never been up to yeah. a rooftop nope. ever? Never, never. You've never been on a rooftop ever. I've never what been about to running a away from the cops? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's all I used oh, to do. Oh, like a rooftop bar. Run away from the cops. I never was on a rooftop in my life. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp, it's the best. I've been using it. It's been saving me in these times of crisis when everyone's mental health is up and down because of the pandy wandy or because of other stuff going on in your life. BetterHelp is so awesome. If you, I'm telling you, mental health is such a big thing right now. You could start communicating with someone in under 48 hours. They have therapists and licensed therapists from all different types of, all walks of life and all different types of specialties. Um, it's available for clients worldwide. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. If you're a real nutbag, like I'm a real nutbag, like borderline schizophrenic, BetterHelp helps me because every time I'm like, my voices are telling me to go start killing my family, I go to betterhelp.com and I talk to the therapist and they, and they say, don't kill your family. There's not enough money if 
they're worth more to you alive than dead. If they had more money, I would say go kill them, but they don't. So BetterHelp, help me get to that conclusion. BetterHelp.com is going to help you too, okay? In whatever way you need to get help, whatever way you want to get help, they'll help you. So BetterHelp, what you do is you go to BetterHelp.com, put in the promo code CHAOS, you're going to get 10% off your first month. BetterHelp.com slash CHAOS, get 10% off your first month. I'm telling you, mental health, it's the most important thing you can do, body and mind. So BetterHelp.com slash CHAOS, get 10% off your first order. And um, and maybe... um. You know, one lucky listener, if you want, we'll, uh, we'll zoom into your better help right in the middle of a session. And right, right to, when you're getting to, like, the real nitty-gritty issues, you know, like about stuff like you were, like, you know, like whatever, abused or something, we'll do it and we'll put it on the Patreon for the $25 tier. Betterhelp.com slash chaos. 10% off your first order. Let us know. Only three ads for so, I'm telling you, I felt I felt so good yesterday that at the same time, I was, like, shocked. Like, I was, like... And two days, I was dazing, like, watching all those people and watching how the city, how beautiful it yeah. looked from all the way up there and all that. It was, I, I feel like a newborn baby. That's how I feel. Because I'm, like, doing everything that I always wanted to do when I was young. So If you were a newborn yeah. baby, this would be your pacifier. <laughs> That's your pacifier right there. Look at that. Look at the newborn yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's too small. It's too small. <laughs> too, too small. <laughs> too, too small. <laughs> Look at that. No. This real. is actually not bad. Go ahead. No, for real. I, I feel like like a newborn baby. You know when a newborn baby starts playing with his first toy, he's curious, he wants to do this, do yes. that. That's how I feel. I feel like reborn again. So it's exciting and, and it's kind of things that I want to try, new things that I want to try. That's why I tell you I want to go skydiving. I want to have Talk a to them, riding. Where are we going to do I it? Hot done, air balloon? Hair, hair balloon, whatever, ha, 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 cold, whatever. Get in a, one of those big ass balloons. I want to try mountain climbing. I want to. I want to jump my, off a bridge. Oh, what do you, <laughs> you want to? You all you want to do? Uh, were you just dreaming of white people shit in prison? I feel like it's all you're doing is white people thrill stuff. You're like, that's what I want to do. I just. Love I want to go skiing. I just love doing so many dangerous things like. Not nothing bad, but you know. Bobby, let me ask you this: Your birthday, September eighteenth. September eighteenth. Are you hey, hey docking? <laughs> are you gonna Are you gonna call your parole officer to come to Dania Improv yeah, in I'm Fort Lauderdale with me? If I could go to. So we're gonna call. I'm allowed to if I could go for two days. It's only two for two days, days so we're gonna call TT Jerry for her birthday. And it's on a weekend. It's on a Friday, Saturday. Okay. The Dania Improv in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, September seventeenth, eighteenth. Get tickets, ChristyComedy.com. Might be might be celebrating TT's birthday there. Yeah, She's gonna be there. gonna be there. So whoever's listening, get your tickets. Get, get that. Wear Don't this. miss out. Wear Don't that. Miss, I'm wearing that. Look at He's that. He's wearing one, and I'm wearing one. Your own male spandex. We both gonna come out wearing one with the two lollipops. <laughs> la 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 lollipop. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, it was great. Have you been to great. Florida before? Oh, well. Have you been to Florida? No. No? I've never been nowhere. How, what, how many states have I've you been, been to? All so? of, I've been to, to so many states all around. A handcuff, a shank. <laughs> That's about it. What states have you been to in prison? Like when you were, when you were arrested? Where, where did you? Just New York, uh, right? Uh, my, uh, Pennsylvania? Danora, that my, what's the up that by Clinton? Danamora? Danamora? But that's upstate New York, right? Yeah. So you've only been yeah. in the state of New York and New Jersey. you never been to any other states be no. besides New York and New Jersey? Not out of New York. But New well, Jersey. You've been in New York yeah, and New Jersey. New Jersey. You ever been to Pennsylvania? No. Maryland, Florida? No. Holy smokes. Nowhere. This is amazing. I, I did. I went to Boston. Oh, Massachusetts. Yeah, Massachusetts. When did you go to Boston? Uh, with my family. I got family up in, in Boston. Right. I went down there for oh, wow, so many years ago. We're going to be in Boston, too, in November. Like, like 15, 13, 14 years old. Oh, my God. 15, 14, 13 years old. You're Benjamin Button. Um, <laughs> uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you got, Pimp? <laughs> Puerto Rican Benjamin Button. Yeah. Could you imagine? So Yo, we should remake Benjamin Button with T.T.'s <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> it just morphs it from a woman back to a man, a baby what boy. What were you talking about a little while ago about J.Lo, Jennifer Lopez, what you said about her? Well, I'm, I was going to tell Chris last night we were talking about how you want to dance with oh, her on yeah, stage. I would love to meet Jennifer Lopez and have a nice dancing up on stage. I would love to dance with her on Let's stage. Let's do it. 
Honestly, we're going to put that on the bucket yeah. list because we've been running TT's bucket list at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. All her dreams come true. There may be big news coming for that. But until now, you watch it on the Patreon. There's a lot of hours of content. There's a whole television show on the Patreon. If you guys aren't watching, you got to join the chaos. Patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. But baby, listen, listen to me. Listen to me, TT. There's a good lollipop. You are, I know it is a good oh lollipop. God. You were, my, well, mine is getting bigger. You <laughs> were on the phone last, you were gazing. I saw you looking at the beautiful view from yeah. the public hotel of downtown Manhattan. It was beautiful. I noticed you were on the phone a lot. Who are you on the phone with? Who are you calling? Any, a lover or family? Who are you no, calling? I was talking to my aunt, my sister, and my brother. You love your family. Aunt. TT's family, man. Yeah. Um, TT, were you ever, were you a Nirvana fan? The band Nirvana, you know who Kurt Cobain is from Nirvana? You heard Nirvana? of him? Nirvana? The band? Maybe if I see it, I'll know. Okay, so. Oh, Nirvana. So, them? in Nirvana. Um, oh, them? Yeah, Nirvana, because, so the ba- so the cover, see the cover of this Nirvana album is a very f- famous Nirvana album called Nevermind yeah. and that's him as a baby he's grown up now he's suing them because he's saying that was child porn because his little little oh, because was his out. little wee wee the little out. just like his little <laughs> what do you think you so think that's he's child suing porn them because of that that's what he's saying right is that is that what's going on with yeah. this pimp yeah he's suing them years I mean, years I later mean, he could he could because why would they yeah didn't he have to okay his, with his mom his they had to have an money. okay just like Vinny said they had to have permission or something to put something like that on the He's no, claiming. Wow, this is this is interesting too. So if you look on the left of this article reading, it says Nirvana baby is poster child for victim culture. So now cancel culture was the thing. Now the other extreme is victim culture. So do you see how it doesn't make sense, folks? If you don't understand, it's all bullshit. And please, 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 for the love of God, stop getting worked up on this bullshit because now it's victim culture. <laughs> so there were all the cancelers. Now the new culture is the victim. So it doesn't make, make- Sense, yeah, cut uh, your genitalia off and become the person you want to become. Oh, cut it off. Or get therapy. Oh. You wow. know, look, look what this guy's claiming. Hormone therapy. The plaintiff, who was four months old at the time, he had a pretty big piece for a four month old. <laughs> who was, but I mean, the water, it's the angle too. Four month old at the time of the 1991 underwater photo shoot also claims he was forced to engage in commercial sex acts and that the band went back on an alleged promise to conceal his genitals on the album cover. C- commercial sex acts at four months old? What do you think of that, TT? That's, I don't understand. Why was that? Read it again. No, we lost TT. Yeah, okay. I got lost. Yo, why don't you give TT a, a penis a lollipop? That's no. it. So they're saying that, they're saying that he's no, claiming- I was reading something else. That's why. Go ahead. What else were we reading? I was reading something else. Go ahead. Fuck it, TT. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know. To me, I, unless there's more to the story, this to me seems like, it does seem like victim culture where it's like, you were four months old, dude. Do you know how many pictures like there are of like naked babies on the internet? Like, yeah, unless, unless there's so other there. stuff. Is there, I, I don't know. If I'm, if I'm the photographer who shot this, I'm like, I shot you're an album cover. You're making a big ass deal about it. I, Vinny, I, come I, here. Come here on the mic for a second. I got a question. I think it's strange. Would you get mad yeah. if one of the kids was on that album cover? Can you tell her? Talk to us, please. I have to go over there and say yes. Yeah. Well, no, but I want I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about it. You don't like that. You. Okay, but I don't understand. Didn't he have to give permission to? Well, his parents did. I don't think he. He was four months old. He was like. He was, he was parents had to get permission, so he should really be suing okay. his parents. How is that Nirvana's but, fault? You can't just put a baby dick on an album cover and not get an okay from mom. All right, but if it was okay for mom, why is he bitching about it, complaining about it? He can't do nothing about it, not just because that's, his, that's him on the picture. Because the new thing is victim culture. They're, they're, everybody thinks and wants to be a victim. Everybody's a victim. I'm a victim. I'm, nobody wants to just be like, oh, sometimes, sometimes your, your baby dick's on the cover of the biggest album of all time. <laughs> Deal well, with it. Well, it's like the new influencer. Yeah. Being a victim, everyone's a victim. Oh, no, wait. He's upset because they promised to conceal, like, his private parts, and they but didn't But they did. Do that. They blocked out it. That, Where I see his little yeah. pee No, you don't. Oh, you see? Yeah. They oh. block it out. It, oh. You see it, no, I don't know if they blocked it. Like, I don't no, know. No, there's... Yeah, it doesn't look, like, blurred out there. I don't think it was blurred out. Well, it's blurred out in the New York Post. He looks like an old Jewish man. It's just weird. I don't know. As a photographer, you're going to just shoot naked babies for an album cover? 
I said in 2016, 25-year-old Eldon recreated the cover fully clothed to pay homage to the hit record, which blasted indie rock to the mainstream. I said to the photographer, okay, so he was 25 years old. He said to the photographer, let's do it naked. But he thought that would be weird, so I wore my swim shorts. So you wanted to do it naked right. all these years later. Interesting. So what's the problem? I don't understand. What, I think there's something I'm missing. I don't get what the problem is. So now you want to do it naked, but now you're saying it was child porn? This is my issue with it. Look what they paid him to be naked. The infant's family was $200, uh, the exact same amount of money I gave T.T. Jerry for coming on the live. Hey, babe. Uh, 15 seconds plunge in the pool, which only happened because Eldon's dad was a friend of the photographer. Got it. Even stranger. Got Imagine it. Imagine I was like, yo, let me shoot your kid naked. It'd be strange. Is that him right now? That's him right now. He's cute or no? He should have taken off his shorts and see what it looks like now. I know. I, Imagine know? it didn't get that much bigger. Imagine it's the same size. They exactly. still blur. The same little blur. Oh, the same size. Maybe that's why he's complaining or something about it because it never grew. Seriously. He's mad. You're saying he's just yeah. mad. Seriously. He's mad at the world. Well, it's interesting. It's just interesting. I, I like talking about the story because I'm it is interesting to it. talk about society with victim culture. What do you think about victim culture, Vinny? I mean, everyone's a victim, even you. The hell up. You look so no, beautiful, I by the way. You're I, such a beautiful woman. I honestly think. Right? Isn't she so beautiful, TT? She ain't beautiful. What do you think she is? She's gorgeous. Ooh, with hey, a W. Hey, gorgeous. And look at how beautiful my Delilah is, too. Gorgeous. So, what do you think of victim culture? I just think things are starting to get a little annoying. Like, I don't know. I miss the way like it kind of used to be. Right. Where nobody was complaining about anything. Like, you just fucking deal with it. Right. Well, that's why we're moving to a Republican that's neighborhood. I do when anything comes Stop telling way. people where we're living. I that's said a Republican neighborhood. <laughs> that's how you got to do it. That already came out a thousand living. times, right? You already said it a bunch of times. Way. I'm going to tell you. Teacher's saying when, when you're living, deal with anything that comes your way. I said, deal with it. All right. Look at me. I'm wearing cool sunglasses and shades that Homeless Pimp gave me, but guess what? They're pieces of shit because they're not from blenders. That's right. Blenders eyewear blenders eyewear is what you're gonna want to get hooked on dude they sent i now sound like robert kelly you know what dude <laughs> blenders eyewear no blenders eyewear it's legitimately here we go throwing them in thank you got they come in this little pink case wait until i put these puppies on blenders eyewear sent me some dope glasses i love them pew pew Ooh, look at these puppies. Blender's eyewear, folks. They're awesome. Um, they, you thought that they were expensive. I thought they would be expensive. They're not. They're cheap, but the quality is fantastic. They're cheap in price, but quality is fantastic. Unlike expensive big brand shades that you probably lost or smashed in the past, blenders are actually affordable, and they truly are. So you're not going to cry as much when the inevitable happens. And if you are crying, nobody will see your tears because you're wearing blenders eyewear. So live life in forward motion with blenders today. It's not not just sunglasses, by the way. Blenders has prescription glasses, readers, blue lights, as well as a snow collection with goggles and accessories. If Benjamin Franklin was still alive today, he would have wore Blenders eyeglasses. I'm telling you, would have worn. And you can get a sweet discount, 15% off your Blenders purchase. Just visit BlendersEyewear.com and enter the promo code ChaosVIP. That's BlendersEyewear.com, code ChaosVIP, 15% off Blenders. Rocked with pride. Wide, worldwide. Said a hoot that I got solina. Dame mas gasolina. Where do you think I learned how to say give me your gasolina, bitch? I learned it at Babbel. Babbel is the 15 minute lesson learning app that makes it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Babbel, it, it can help you choose from 14 different languages, Spanish, French, Italian, German, whatever you want. It's got speech recognition technology. I've been learning how to speak Espanoles on Babbel to listen to my family talk shit about me when they think I don't know, but I do know, and I listen to everything they say, and you can get a sweet discount. If you're looking to learn a language because you're going to a new country, because all you could go all travel internationally now, um, if you got the vaccine, um, or if you got a fake, or if, or if you got a fake, um, you can travel internationally, so you can learn a new language there. Or if you learn a new language because you want to talk to a hot guy or a hot girl that doesn't speak, you know, your native language and you want to, you know, don't speak English and you want to learn how to impress them, then go learn that language. If you're trying to just, you know, just want to be cool as shit and learn a new language, babble.com is the place to go. And if you use our promo code, 
chaos. So go to B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Use the code chaos. You get an additional three months free on a three-month purchase. So you're going to get six months total. So you're going to get six months for the price of three. Pretty much. If you go to babble.com, promo code chaos, learn how to use, uh, learn, how, learn how to speak a new language um, and enjoy it. La vida loca. Live in la vida loca. Españoles. La biblioteca. Uh, um, Franco. Juan Miguel. Babble.com, promo code chaos. By the way, yeah. TT Jerry, yeah. I just want to say she, she yeah. showed up at the live Hey Babe show. In Royers for Pennsylvania when Delilah lost her tooth. And we were leaving because she had come out there with my manager, Emilio. And we were like, oh, it's late at night. We're all going to go back in the same car together. I go to put I go to put Violet's stroller, my youngest daughter, in the trunk. Titi's already sitting in the trunk, <laughs> curled up. I'm and I'm like, Titi, what are you doing? I'm dead. like... He's like, there's no roof for me, so I'm just going to sit in the trunk. We'll all take one car. I said, go in Emilio's car. She was like, I've been in the hole. I've been in solitary confinement. I can't sit in the trunk next to your baby stroller. She goes, I got food. I was like, it's a three-hour ride. She was like, I've been in worse situations. Trust me, baby. And I was like, no, get out of my it trunk. No, it wasn't that. It's that Emilio, he's so good looking. He was tempting me. I was oh like, oh. Oh, my God. He was. No. Emilio, what is it, the man bun? At my manager, at Emilio Savone. <laughs> Instagram him. So oh Instagram him. He drove T.T. Jerry home, and I know for a him. fact she gave him roadhead. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's a cool dude. He's he is cool. Respect. Shout out, Emilio. Yeah, uh, shout he's out, new manager. I love Emilio Savone. Thank you for coming. You have yeah. you're the only person I've ever yeah. liked in my life that has a man bun. <laughs> um, you're talking so much shit. You were just saying yesterday that you want one. Want one. Is what? that is that because of Emilio? I didn't say I wanted oh a man you, bun. Yes, you oh, did. Wow. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I said lie. I wanted to grow my hair out and get a rat tail. <laughs> 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 I'm not getting a hair. I swear to God, I'm not getting a haircut to the Taliban vacates Kabul. <laughs> um, victim mentality is an acquired personality trait in which a person tends to recognize or consider themselves of, as a victim of the negative actions of others and to behave as if this were the case in the face of contrary evidence of such circumstances. Circumstances. Victim mentality depends on clear thought process and attribution. So what they're saying there is. You can all, it's very, we could all be victims. I could have been a victim 20 times today, but how much, it's very narcissistic to be a victim because you don't think you bear any responsibility in anything when the truth is you're almost never a victim. You always bear responsibility in some way, sometimes a very small way, sometimes a very big way. So you're almost never, never a victim, almost never. Not only victim mentality or syndrome is a mental illness that can prevent a person from living a fully productive life, but also it might be responsible for how the brain of the person gives a wrong interpretation of reality and the facts. Listen, there are times, you know, the only time, if you're an adult, if you're an adult, it's very hard to be a victim. I'm not talking about sexual crimes or things like that. Obviously, you get forced on you. That's all different stuff. But stuff like this, like this victim mentality bullshit, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, Everybody is always Sorry. looking for, hey, how, how do I make this situation where I don't have to bear any responsibility and nothing's my fault and I could still look in the mirror and say, oh, look at how perfect and great I am and everybody else is bad and mean to me. That's not how an adult thinks. An adult says, I fucked up. I'll figure a way out of it. And if I need to get retribution, I'll get that in a, you know, a legal or illegal way, whatever, whichever way you want to go. I chose to go legal except the vaccine. I'm kidding. I did. I got the Visine. You got both of them already? Uh, I'm, about to, I'm, gonna get, I'm about to get the second one. You want to come with me? No, I can't. What already, you got, the Johnson? Oh, you got, got the Modelo. Modelo. When Modelo. is Vinny going to get it? How Vin about this? Why even get the vaccine of it? You ready for this, TT? Why even get the vaccine? You know what you and I need to do? Do We need to go to the Bahamas. If you get COVID in the Bahamas right now, you can fly in a private jet home for free. That's how we're going to get to the private jet. Get COVID in the Bahamas. But why would I want to take that risk and go to the Bahamas and get COVID just to fly on a jet? Makes no sense. I might never fly on a jet. I know. I might end up dead. Why? Because COVID? COVID kills. COVID could kill you. What the hell? Everything's I ain't a going jet. over there Everything and catch a COVID. Spirit Airlines would be a jet for you. You don't give a shit. No, 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 no. I'll weigh in to I become more famous and everything by my own jet. TT, if you, if you become any more famous and you become a monster, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Oh, my God. I'd love... Uh, TT, with all the money in the world, I feel like it would end up looking like Michael Jackson's ranch. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> yeah, but all with 18 and above. With twinks. Huh. With twinks. <laughs> well, who's your favorite 18 musician? 18 and above. No, not 18 and above. Well, eight, <laughs> even 18 is too young for you? Yeah, that's too what, young. What's the cutoff age for you for a boy, uh, a guy? 23 to 25. 23 to 25. So that's, the, you and know, if no, you want. That's the start, but they could reach all the way to the 40s, 50s. What's the oldest? The 40s, yeah, 50s? Like 50. Would you ever do like an 50 80-year-old? 50 looking real good and solid and hard. Like who? Like Richard Gere? Yeah, to the salt and pepper hair. Delilah, stop. You like Richard Gere? Like what you get. She likes gerbils. Yeah, um, <laughs> here we go. Here's a question. We got. By the way, you guys can still always email your questions to the Chrissy Chaos Podcast at gmail.com. We got a good question from Zachary Lister. Um, I don't know if his family invented Listerine, but what's going on, Chrissy Pooh? He goes, I need some advice from the doctor himself. I just recently interviewed for my first physical therapy internship, and I believe I'm a good fit for the position. And my question is, what advice can you give to someone who's trying to make their application stand out for graduate? school thanks for everything you do and hope to have you come out to atlanta soon home of the fogs the free opening gaze so you'll fit in perfectly zach lister so my advice to you mr lister is my best advice for you to make your application stick out for graduate school is check a box that says you are not white even if you are white, I would lie about your race and I would check anything other than white. I would make, I would say that you are Swahili. I, here's what I would say. I would say when it says you put other and then in that put transgender Eskimo, <laughs> put transgender Inuit. And I guarantee you, yep, yep. you will get a spot in the school no matter what your GPA is. Transgender right Inuit. Away. And if they ask for a picture, you'd put a picture of T.T. Jerry. Because <laughs> T.T. Jerry looks like a transgender guy in an igloo. <laughs> <laughs> You can't say Eskimo anymore, TT. You know that, right? Eskimo? That's right. You can't say it anymore. Why? It's a racist term. Really? No, you got to say. Eskimo? E you know what an Eskimo is? Yeah, I know what an Eskimo, but why can't you say Eskimo? Because, here, speaking to the mic, yeah, because the, the, mic. Uh, the people from that Just area. Like when you say whatever that oh word. My. No, I'm just, it's just a saying, dog. All right, raise it up. <laughs> I'll raise it, I'll raise it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, there's a. I didn't know. Anyway. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Clip it. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> there's a lot of other words that they Oh, you here's can a perfect say. here's a perfect uh here's a perfect question to take from Erica Blackmon. Perfect. <laughs> Hi Chrissy Colostrum, or however the hell you spell it. Oh, Colostrum, that's a good one. That that's the milk that babies drink out of out of the death house when they're first born. <laughs> it's true. When I had my baby, every time she started to cry, my tits would leak. E did any time Violet cries, do your tits leak, TT, or no? Yeah, one time, yeah. <laughs> your titties leaked when my uh -huh. baby started to cry? Very interesting. <laughs> when I had my baby, every time she started to cry, my tits would leak. Even if I went to the store or a restaurant and heard someone else's kid cry, my tits would leak everywhere. The body's a crazy effing thing. P.S. I want to bring my hubby to NYC for his birthday. He's never been. Can we arrange to have TT be our tour guides or just hang out for the day with you guys? Don't worry. I give you $25 a month for Patreon. Thank you so much. We love you all so much. Yeah. Tell, tell Jazz she's effing gorgeous. Congrats on Violet. And I know Buffalo, New York effing sucks. But can you please effing come here? What the fuck, Chrissy? Thanks, Erica Blackman. Pronounce Erica. You effed it up on the Patreon during TT's questions. Pimp, get it right. Sorry. So, yes, she will be your tour guide. That's Come to well. New York City. All I'm going to tell you is February 5th. There's a big show that Chrissy Chaos is doing in New York City. So come then. Um, uh, what, 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 what was her question? Uh, the, the titties leak. Oh, she just wants to, she wants, the question was, can she be the tour guide? Yes. Yes. CT, right? Yes, I would be a tour. I would take you all around the city anywhere they want to go. Yeah. So what's the, yeah. what's the TT tour consist of? Not like the titties licking. <laughs> yeah. The only time my titties used to leak is when my baby used to cry. But that was my baby that was in prison. My big baby. Oh my Every Your time he baby. wanted some, you know, some little, little, little. Le yeah. Breast milk. He right. used to cry and they used to leak. Um, <laughs> my big baby. Um, I think too. Um, yeah, I think I think that that would be a fun thing. You know that some few people already have. God, I hate milk. wearing shorts. I wrote me in comments that they want to come to New York, fuck with tour, tour them around New York, take them around. And Titi, but you don't know, but what do you know about New York? I know my hand inside out. That, that used you? to be my neighbor, yeah, in Manhattan. That's why I used to Where would you out. hang out most of Manhattan? All over, all over the place, Manhattan. 
My shorts are blending into the oh, couch. No, no. I look like I'm just a torso. <laughs> um, oh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. I wanted to ask this too. What everybody is talking about tweaking. Now everyone's writing tweaking, tweaking. this, tweaking that. What does tweaking mean all of a sudden? Yeah, what, this is the uh, new thing, tweaking, know, tweaking. Tweaking, they I haven't it's, heard that. It's tweaking. everywhere all over the internet. That and what the milk does? crate challenge, which is oh, so yeah. stupid. I don't know. People are going to kill themselves on that. Who started that? How did these things start? Huh? People, Vinny is saying people is, are bored as hell. I know they are. They are. They're bored. I mean, they don't have health care and they're full on. They don't have health care or jobs. <laughs> Tweaking is a slang term that means to be under the influence of methamphetamine. You read it, TT. Read it. Go ahead. Tweaking is a slang term that means to be under the influence of methamphetamine. Yes. Okay, also known as speed. Good. Tweaking is also defined as. A malfunction or to react with extreme emotions. Yep. The odds, action, and behaviors that can take place after meth use are known as twigging, while the users is called a twigger. There you go. You twigger. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it, baby. That that's what it is. You ever done meth or no? Hell no. You wouldn't do it either, right? Hell no. What's the craziest drug you ever did? Craziest number one craziest drug. Crack. Crack. Yeah, crack. That's about it. When I you haven't done nothing. I, I never did um 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 crystal mad and all those ex um um uh, ecstasy and all those kind of crazy um, pills and all. I never did none of that. How long have you been sober from drugs? When's um, the last time you took a drug in eight any years. capacity? Eight years. Congratulations, yeah. wow, TT. Eight great. years, no drugs. Congratulations, eight Violet. Years. Stop crying. We're doing the podcast. She's celebrating. <laughs> yeah, whose titties are leaking? Um, so this is the new thing. I know. <laughs> this is the only thing that makes you feel comfortable. Um, what, babe? Go, go, go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I've ever seen you so relaxed. What? What do you mean? <laughs> like you're really relaxed right now. Is it the lollipop? Is it, it because you're sucking on, you on that lollipop? It's not because like, it looks like a penis. It's a good flavor. Like, not even when you're on flavor. edibles, you're, like, this relaxed. You're it's just, like... It's a good like, flavor. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Speaking of edibles, for, we, we realize we know that we owe the $25 members on now the Patreon. We're going to do it. Now that you say that, I think this lollipop... Are they, are they lollipops? Yes. They're relaxing. Where did you buy these lollipops? I bet you they're CBD. No, actually, I, I, I was kidding. These weren't a gift from T.T. Jerry. They were a gift from our good friend, Mike Cannon. But Mike Cannon, when he gave them to me, follow up, I am Mike Cannon on Instagram and follow his comedy. We've been friends for the, ever. He's one of the funniest guys ever. F uh, Mike Cannon gave me the gift with the cock lollipops and the, the Speedo and said, these are for you and or T.T. Jerry. So he gave us a double gift and he was so excited. What a good guy. What a good guy. Um, okay. Are these the ones that you put it on and they suck them off your body? You want to put, put it on and come back out on the pod? Do you mind or no? You want to put it on? You can. I will put this shit on and come right out. Go ahead. Put it, put it on. Put it on. We'll wait for you. Put it on. Go ahead. You don't want to? You're going to go in the pool like that? Do it. Do it. Tell him to do it. You want to do it or you don't feel comfortable? No, no. Why not? You look no, good. No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll use it in the next lookbook. No. Them that I might have my lot of people knocking on my door. No, no. <laughs> this would be good merch where it just says chaos right there. I have right traffic coming from my Yo, huddle, oh, huh? I said this would be good merch because all my merch is almost sold out. If you go to ChristyComedy.com, click on the merch. It's almost sold out. I got a big motherfucking snack under there to wear one of those. I got big balls, TT. <laughs> um, let's look at this milk crate challenge thing. So the milk crate challenge, it started on YouTube it, it went viral a decade ago in the clip posted by the YouTube channel Joyriders TV Bonus Footy. In 2011, a man runs across a staircase made of milk crates before falling and injuring his back. So can we, can we play a video of it or we'll get flagged? Yeah, no, no, we can play Because it's so stupid like that people even want to do this. Like, you're going to... I've seen that on TikTok. These guys are so stupid. They're going to break... Look, they're going to break... Broke his neck. Look at this. Watch this guy. Watch this guy. No, but wait a minute. That was look, look, watch this. Watch this. Around all these people. You don't think that's dangerous, <laughs> TT? Are you kidding me? No. Talking to Mike, TT. What's more dangerous, no. milk crate challenge or smoking crack? <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's so... This guy... Yep. Oh. 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 oh my God, God dude. dude. Look at the way he flips. Has anyone been killed yet on this? I'm sure no. they will be, right? A lot of people have gotten injured, this article saying. Oh, I bet it. 
Yeah, I just don't get why people would want to do it. This is something. I guess it's the attention of everyone else staring at you doing it. Yeah, that. that that's yeah, the it's just. I, th- uh, there's a thing like I just don't. It's just not for me. Like all this stuff, all that stuff to me. Okay, all of these challenges, except for the ALS ice bucket challenge, because that went supposedly to a good cause. Oh, um, yeah, I, we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah, but oh, all this stuff—the Tide Pod challenge, the Milk Crate challenge—it's all for followers. Like, I feel like you're just—that's. I'm starting to realize, like, that's what social media is. It's yes, it, you have followers because that's what we're doing. We're all nobody's stepping up and being a leader because a leader would say, "This is the dumb." Even if you get over the milk crate, do, what's changed about your life? Oh, you can run over milk crates. Good for you, asshole. Now what? <laughs> You're still eating rice aroni with your hands like a jerk off. Trying, you know, like shut up. Like I, I don't, the Tide Pod challenge. It's like, you know, because I don't understand. What do celebrities want? Do they want to take showers or eat Tide Pods? It's one or the other. Either we're going to use the water and wash our bodies and our clothes or we're going to eat the Tide Pods. You can't have both. I think you're right, though. I think America has an attention problem. Big Everyone's, time attention problem. Everyone's just chasing attention. Everybody the, does. Yeah. From the victim Everybody culture. Everybody likes attention. Everybody wants attention. Everybody. I mean, look at us. I look mean, at my even podcast. Just a little bit of attention, <laughs> but I believe every human living, living human being likes attention. Of course. Well, I, yeah. It's the same reason people get rich. They want the attention of being rich. And I think every, everything, everything is motivated by your sex drive. I think if you start to remove if you start to remove people's sex drives from their minds, they'll everything motivation people will fall in line so much easier. No, it's not. Anything. Sometimes it's subconscious. Sometimes it's conscious. It's all about a sex drive. I'm telling you. Speaking of sex drives, roaching is the newest gross trend to infest the dating world. So you thought that you had roaches in your apartment, which we do. Now you have roaches in the dating world on dating apps. So what roaching is, TT, watch out for this because you're out there. You're dating. You're getting out there. You need to watch for roaching. So what roaching is, is the act of hiding the fact that you're seeing multiple people from a new romantic partner. So is this just cheating? While the new companion may realize their partner has other lovers, it only becomes roaching when they realize there are, in fact, many other lovers. It is inspired by the ickiness of seeing one of these nasty little roach bugs, but knowing when you turn the lights on, there are lots of them. So this is, in fact... like that picture right there. Look (laughs) at it. So this is, in fact, just cheating, and the news is running out of things to talk about. Yes. Does he call Chris? Yes. What are you talking about? I don't cheat on you. This has been Hey Babe. <laughs> um, so you could tell if you've been roached, TT, if you feel the person is not really available or present for you and very private about certain details, like it, uh, uh, taking a long time to respond to text, changing plans at the last minute, and not picking up if you call I them out of blue. I'm on stage. Oh, my God. I would, if I think, if I you see roach? a man, if I see a man be at a roach, I just jump right to the next one. I'm not gonna waste my time dealing with this bullshit and dealing all, thinking all that shit in my head. I'm gonna jump to the next man. Fuck him. Seriously, go. there's plenty of guys out there for you, yeah, TT. Yeah, go to the next. There's got a lot of cockroaches out there. You love, yeah. Do we have cockroach? I feel like you're you're very clean though, TT. You don't, I don't, you don't strike me as a guy. If you saw a cockroach, would you kill it or would you put it outside? I'll put it outside. Yeah, same with Vinny. She wants to wow. put them outside. Roaches? No. You kill roaches? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. If I could get him rid of and throw him outside, but if not, I'll kill him. It, it comes either way. I'll kill him, I'll step on him, I'll throw him out. On one of the other. All right. I don't care, right? I, I just think it's so confusing. Anyway, Chris, I was going to ask you, are oh, you willing go. to come with me um, skydiving? <laughs> Stop. No. Come on, it'll be great, Chris. You on the air with me next to each other. We recording everything. I mean, you're not going to jump by yourself. You're, you're not going to jump. Oh, you, Jazz, will you come with me, Vinny? There's a weight limit. I loved last night. Chris was so drunk, he agreed to it, remember? Chris said he would go skydiving yeah. last night. I don't night. know. It's one of the Chris, things. It scares me. you were doing with me and, uh, for, to put it on Patreon or for everybody to see you and going straight. How did you make your lollipop hard? (laughs) (laughs) Like literally, how do you literally sucked it until it was a, it's a fully erect, (laughs) 
lollipop penis now. It came to my mouth already. <laughs> That's why I'm not sucking it anymore. Speaking of coming to my mouth, look at this Dwayne Johnson lookalike. This guy, this guy, this look, look. That is not the Rock. That is, the guy on the left not, is oh, not the Rock. Guy, he's not the Rock. The ro guy on the right is the Rock. The yeah. guy on the left looks so much like the Rock, but it's not. It's Morgan wow. County Sheriff Office Patrol <laughs> Lieutenant. Oh, he's got rough. he's got too many titles of his name. Eric Fields. He's a dead ringer for movie star and wrestler Dwayne the Rock Johnson. So. Yeah, he's a Morgan County Sheriff's Officer Patrol Lieutenant. Too many titles in his name. Where can I find him? Oh, yeah, well, where's Morgan County? Run for president. Alabama. Of the Wait, you uh, go to Alabama? I would go to Alabama. I would. Well, we're going to be in uh, Florida, close enough, West Palm Beach. Um, so, so that guy looks so much like The Rock. I don't feel like The Rock is the right guy for you, though, TT. You don't, like, you don't need a guy like that. No, I don't like a guy like that. <laughs> What, I want to ask you, TT, what do you think about what's happening in Afghanistan with Kabul? Do you think that it would, the, Joe Biden uh, was smart to pull out of K Kabul, Afghanistan, or you think we should have stayed there? I think we should have stayed there. You think it should have stayed there? Why? Yeah. Now, because that is creating, like, too much... Um, um, talking on the mic. She keeps talking into the penis. That? It keeps creating too much... <laughs> Stop. Okay, go ahead. Now I forgot what you asked me. The Afghanistan. What? What, you think it creates too much of a problem to leave Afghanistan? Um, not really. No. You, no. you think? You think like whatever. If we left, we left. Let the let the people in Afghanistan figure it out. Why do we need to be there? No, but we need to be there. You think the troops need to be there? Yeah. We need to help we need them. To, yeah, with any help, we need to be there. That's why they're over there. Yeah, talking to the mic. Talking to mic. Was you there know? any terrorists in jail? Yeah, did you ever meet? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Like somebody from ISIS, like an actual terrorist for real? Yeah, they, no, they had this, really? yeah, I'm not lying. They had this guy that, that, that he was trying to ma um, do some bombs. They found him in the house with a whole bunch of different kind of bombs and everything. And he was he's had supposed to blow up some kind of building and shit like that. He was locked up. I forgot his name. Was he Middle Eastern or was he white? I, I black? don't know if he was Middle Eastern, if he was Jewish, Chinese, or what. But he they had him locked up because of that. For all the bombs. Yeah, they found a whole bunch of bombs in his house. Was he fun to hang out with? Huh? Do you ever hang out? No, with I him? never hung out with him. But that was, you know, how people talk in the jail and shit like that. That's how he got around. Oh, you see that guy over there? That's what he got busted for. He had mad bumps in his house. Do you, will you get beat up for that, though? Blow. Is that like a pussy crime in jail? Like, because you made bombs? Or like, no, they respect hell you for that. no, no, no. Like I said, the only way they're going to mess with you and beat you up and cut you if you're a child molester. Let me ask you or this. if you want some type of gang. That's about it. Was there anybody at your time in prison who came into prison or had been there previously that you could admit that you were genuinely afraid of because of the crimes they had committed or because of the way they carried themselves, where even you were like, I'm scared of this person. I would not mess with this person. The only person that I felt like that for with the, um, that, that guy, would, that he, he used to go around the Zodiac, asking for your, what's your sign, Virgo, Libra, why? Um, Zodiac killer? Yeah. That was the only guy. His Talking name to Mike. Was, his name was, um, 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 I forgot his name. No, man. not the. Was it Mike? Was it Mike? No, Bob? I don't think. No, no, no. It's the wrong guy. I don't think they ever caught the Zodiac no, Killer. They did. There was one that was locked up with me in Attica. He was locked up in Attica. Uh, uh, no, they're thinking. Was, no. Maybe it wasn't the Zodiac Killer. No, it was a Zodiac Killer. Is there another kind of killer? Uh, he, this guy he got used convicted. to like me and everything. We used to talk. He, he did liked did to talk somebody about in prison confess you that they were a Zodiac killer? And it's been <laughs> it's been an unsolved mystery for fifty years. And did you blow the Zodiac killer too? No, I didn't blow up a Zodiac killer. Ed Edwards? No, no, it wasn't Ed Edwards. Wow, it wasn't that old man? No, it wasn't that old man. I could recognize him if I see him, Mike. So that's the only guy. And why were you afraid of him, though? What would he tell you that you were afraid of no, him still in prison? No, at the beginning, people used to tell me that he was a soldier killer and everything. He had killed so many people and all that shit. 
And I was a little bit afraid of him or nothing like that, but it wasn't like crazy. But I was really never afraid of nobody in prison. Really. No, no, that, no, that's why I'm asking it's you. It's not like that. When you see these guys in prison, it's like nothing. It's like a regular dude. You, you'll you see him and you feel like he's a regular dude. Like he's cool, like he's okay. Right. You know, you don't look at him like he killed 1,000 people, 500 people, 100 people. You don't look at him like that. Just look at him as a regular guy in like the cell. Like a regular ass dude, that's it. Right. Yeah, because you see them as human and beings. The only one I, I was afraid, really, really afraid of was this guy. Them, I, I don't remember all these guys' names. But he was a tall dude with big ass glasses. And he killed his mom, his sister, and his, his, nephew, his niece or cousin. All three of them. And he put them in the refrigerator. And little by little, he used to eat them every day. He used Jeffrey to Dahmer. There you go. So you were in prison also with Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, that's the only guy that I was Really? So was, it, was he yeah. white, black, Latino? He was white. White guy also, a real nutbag. Yeah. yeah. With glad. What he prison was like that? like kind of, like, 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 like that. <sighs> what? No, the T.T. I mean, let's I let's don't let's know. Let's I'm let's new on this. Opinion. It's T.T. Jerry. I'm new on this. I'm sorry if I can say some words. You need but to be real. And here at the Chrissy Chaos Podcast, on the couch, you're on the Chaos Couch, a.k.a. the casting couch. I'm, we let you be I'm real. Casting? I just made it up. Oh. Um. Wow, so oh, that's interesting because I feel like yeah. that guy, he must have been in jail for prison. <laughs> talking to Mike, talking to Mike. What? Talking to Mike. What are you saying? You gotta tell me when I can say things, things that I can't say. What? Like wor- different okay. words? Yeah. No, you can talking say whatever Mike, you talking want. Talking to Mike. I didn't know when you're gonna use those words. Well, yeah, that's the <laughs> thing. I never, I never really know when you're gonna say them. So, but it's fine. Well, why are you we, talking so long? We could edit it out. Because you, <laughs> I am one of your disciples. You are my oh, Jesus. But you got it. I'm your Jesus. Could that, you, um, TT? Are that's you the Messiah? Merch. That's yeah, TT. I am TT the on the Messiah. cross. <laughs> yeah, <I> imagine. <laughs> TT on the cross with this, dressed in the. <laughs> yeah, we're one oh of those. Oh my God! We're Bleeding one of rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> with a rainbow collar right over my head. Oh my <laughs> God! Well, speaking of the Rock, speaking of the Rock thing, they found that there's about a one in thirty-five chance that a pair of complete. Uh, complete doppelgangers is ex- exist somewhere in the world. So doppelgangers are people who look exactly like you, but the likelihood of someone walking across looking identical identical to you specifically in all eight facial features is one in a trillion, one in one trillion. But that means that there is somebody most likely that looks Just very like you. similar to you. Okay, that's what I wanted to, to say. Do you believe that somebody... They say that there's always a twin, that you always have a twin. Right. That you have a twin. No matter what in, in the world or something, but you have a twin. That's somebody. I yes. Say say. Stop, Jess. Stop, yes. Betty. Let me talk. No, it's true. You know why I know it's true? Why? Because they say that they say you always have another twin. Okay. Uh, there's somebody out there that looks just like you. Right. There's so, somebody out there that looks just like Pimp. She looks like homeless Pimp. Yeah. You really said that's what you were talking about? That's exactly what I was yeah, talking that's about, doppelgangers. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. That's why so, I came up T-T, with that. What would you do if you found your doppelganger? What would you do to them? If you found your twin? I mean, I'd try to find out some information about him to see. Maybe, maybe he is my twin. You know, you think your mom was lying to you and didn't tell you that she had a twin? No, where he came from, who's his father, who's his mother, and because you'd be like, I'd like to know who my father is. I would like to know why he looks so much like me. Right? What? Yeah, it's a little fishy. Would you sleep with him? I don't think so, because it's like sleeping with myself. (laughs) You don't find yourself attractive. You found yourself beautiful. Yeah, but I yeah. So if you find somebody that looks just like you, will you sleep with her? You and you. How about you? Would with you your hair down like that, you know who your male doppelganger is? Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> How about like you, Chris? Female Jason Momoa. Will you sleep well, with somebody that look handsome and looking just like you? If I found somebody that handsome and looked just like me, would I hook up with them? Um, my doppelganger? I would say I would say I would. I would say I would hook up with my with my doppelganger, the female version the female version. of me. <laughs> if it was me, it's like I'm hooking up with me. No? You don't even get a pass then. I feel like my female doppelganger is Jane Lynch. 
You know Jane Lynch? The act, Google Jane Lynch. This, <laughs> this is me. Yeah, Jane Lynch. This is my doppelganger right here. There. <laughs> Jane Lynch. That's me. <laughs> that's my doppelganger. I'm. If call me Jane Lynch from now on. If you see me in the streets. And then TT's doppelganger is John Sakata. Google John yeah, Sakata. John Sakata looks like John's J O N Y S E. Yes. Uh, is it S E C A D A? Sakata. He put no. John Sakata. No, that's not me. Oh my God. No, S E C. Sakata. No, that's not how you That's it. John Sakata. S E C. Yeah. Go to, or go to images, I guess, if you want. Whatever. John Sakata. Just another day without you. Yeah, there, there it is. That's that. This is what they say looks oh, like TT. Wow. wow, would you hook up with John Sakata? He looks kind of ugly now, but we actually asked TT this <laughs> before. Cute when we he did. Was young. <laughs> we pulled these pictures. John Sakata's ripped, dude. He works for Chippendales. I gotta get that bod, but I also want Tortellini. <laughs> wow, TT. He got ugly though. He's not ugly. Oh, oh, he got ugly. He was cute when right there that picture, that black and white. Picture. Um, TT baby. We're gonna go to to our new house after this. You're gonna still clean? Are you gonna you want to clean our new house or no? Do you only yeah. do apartments or you do houses too? I do the whole house: swimming pool, backyard, garage, roofs, everything. Well, tomorrow we're gonna have a pool party, and Pimp is gonna film it. Are you gonna wear a, a ground, bikini or everything. You, to go in the pool? Do you wear a bikini? I'm or gonna you, have a two piece. Two piece? Seriously? Yeah. A two piece? Pimp there is gonna go. come through. There you go. I'm gonna look like a mermaid. <laughs> Beautiful. Inside, I love it. Inside your swimming pool. I love and it. And also, by the way, my, my older sister gave TT like a, a bunch of clothes and heels. Really? Yeah. So Did you give it to her already? Not no. yet. Not yet. Beautiful. Yeah. You're going to wear it? Nice. Yeah, if All I right, like good, them, baby. If I like good. It, no, I we, want you, we want you to dress comfortable, be free, yeah. be open, be gay. We love it, TT. All right. Um, That's me. So you have an answer my question. Which oh, one? Talking to Mike. Um, I'm going um, um, skydiving. Sky diving, yeah. This has been the Chrissy Chaos Podcast. <laughs> uh, Chris, come on, Chris. TT. I want to go skydiving. And you know who put that in my head? You did, Pimp. Hell yeah. Pimp, Pimp no. Pimp said, ask Chris. I would be can't nice I go? for Chris. <laughs> Speak it to the mic. Chris Get Vinny on the mic for a second. Why can't Chris go? Well, hold on. Why can't, I, why can't I go skydiving, Vin? I'm not, what if we I tandem kids. jump with a guy? But what if I tandem jump but with a guy? You know why they said it? That's, skydiving is more safe than driving a car. Do There's we have no as many? Yes. Do we have as many skydivers as cars? Safe like, than driving a <laughs> car. <laughs> Sky, That's what you say for skydiving or die or or driving? Skydiving fatalities 0.0061 per three and a half million driving. Wow, it is. He's Thank right. You. 0.058 fatalities Thank per you. day with skydiving. 96 fatalities a day with driving. Thank so you. he does. He actually is correct, Vinny. I'm 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 putting my life in my hands more when I because drive the there car. There are less skydivers than there are drivers. That's no. why. <laughs> Honestly, know. though, <laughs> to be honest with you, Vin, I would feel safer. I would feel safer skydiving without a parachute than getting in the car when you're driving. Huh. <laughs> Look at the back of Violet's head. She looks literally bald. Like she, she has lo- bald spots. She looks like a bald Jewish accountant yeah, well, from the back. Think about it and let hey, me know. Hey, what's up? What should we call? What should we call Violet from the back? Her name's like Art, Mitch. <laughs> All right, can I go skydiving or no? Seriously? No, you cannot. How about this? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do a little poll? Go to Patreon. Go Patri- skydiving, but you have to. You have to. No, um, why you we'll do it for the Patreon. Have to update, you We're will go have sk- to update your will before so your you do that. Your uncle wants to go <laughs> skydiving. Why you don't you let me sure go I'm skydiving? There. So why you, I could go skydiving? Your uncle's I don't want you to go either, but, you know, you're going to do what you want to do. That, that we go in with a, with a guy that's, that's professional. You don't throw yourself by yourself. You be tied up to somebody else. Yeah, huh? we'll do it. All right. So why don't we do it for the Patreon? Yeah, we'll why do Why don't it. we just Let's do it? Do it. Sky- All right, look, how about this? Jazz, how about you? Come with us. We go skydiving. Because I want my kids to have a parent, at least one parent left. Well, why are you thinking that? Well, you like tell that? me I'm on my phone all the time anyway, and I'm not present, so <laughs> who cares if I die? But why are you thinking like that? Babe, don't talk like I don't like that. I'm depressed. Don't talk I'm hungover. Like <laughs> All right. Patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. Right on the community board. Should we go skydiving or not? Christy yes. Comedy. ChristyComedy.com for all my stand updates. We got a lot of dates up there. Check out your city. Big, big news. New York City, February 5th. Keep that date up. I'm going to be announcing soon. November 21st, Wilbur Theater. We've added in Boston. October 1st, The Lyric. Baltimore with Sally Volcano. Irvine Improv, September 24th to 26th, LA. 
First show at Foxwoods is all sold out. Only tickets for the second show, October 23rd. ChristyComedy.com for tickets. I'm going to eat TT's tortellini right now. TT, you feel good? You got anything to say to the people before we go? No, I'm good. Thank you, guys. I love you. Mucho besos.